Hey, hey, y'all, Jeremy James here, the Bourbon Realtor, coming at you today from Barstools and Bourbon on this Whiskey Wednesday. We're on location at the new Happy Hour Liquors in Nicholasville, Kentucky, where they're opening up their brand new bourbon bar. Simply awesome. They've got literally everything from Old Fitz to Pappy to BTAC, the Weller line, the whole line of 1792. I'm just calling out what I'm seeing. Old Forester 150. They've got tons of rise, all of it is pourable all of it is pourable you're not going to be surrounded with folks swilling three dollar bud lights you're going to be around the folks who enjoy and understand what bourbon is all about anyway so today on this whiskey wednesday we're trying out old elk this is a captain cork pick this is a weeded bourbon uh, coming in at 58.15 or 116.3 proof um, so this is distilled in Indiana, probably sourced through MGP. I'll have to check on that. Check down below down here. Obviously, guys, if you love our content, if you like what we're doing, want to be notified, make sure you subscribe to us so you get those notifications when we drop new videos. We're obviously dropping new Whiskey Wednesdays every week, but we're also dropping our full programs, usually on Mondays and Fridays every week to every other week because we have jobs. Anyway, so let's pour into this Old Elk. I know it's very popular. A lot of folks getting it um, all the way around. Some of their normal stuff is a little low proof for me um, at the 80, so I don't mind dropping in on this Old Elk barrel proof weeded bourbon. This is the weeder um, at 116 proof. Let's get this thing popped. Oh, what a nice pop off that thing. Brand new bottle. Let's get her poured out. And no, I don't have the new um, elk head pour uh, for my for my bottle. I need to get that. So color, it's got that darker. It's definitely into the amber side, not so much that lighter honey. Coats the glass really seamlessly. Get a nice bead. The legs are slow to develop. They're long and diffused. So good looking color. Not super dark from what I would normally expect with a barrel proof. But it definitely has thick legs. I can get them to streak. They're lining up nicely. Oh. All right. It looks very nice. Let's see what it's on the nose. What are we at? 116? 116 proof. I can get my nose right down into this thing with no problem at all. A little bit of citrus up front, maybe some light floral. Not really super heavy saturated on the nose. A little bit of oakiness, a little wood, maybe some fresh oak. Some sweetness, but not a whole lot. So the nose is kind of mid-grade for me on this. At 116, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more concentration of aroma. But you can definitely get your nose in there and you're not going to have to worry about blowing yourself out. All right. Bourbon's made to be drank. Let's go. All right. That's what I expect when I'm over 115 proof. Decent mouthfeel. The finish is a bit prickly, a little bit dry from that, um, that stepping up in the alcohol content. Finish is medium to long. Let's see what second sip gives us. Brown sugar, cinnamon, light bakery cinnamon, not like a, a candied cinnamon, but like a bakery cinnamon with a little bit of salt, uh, a little bit of pepperiness and savoriness with that, that brown sugar and oak. Oh, it's 
this is excellent really is very very good third sip was basically a mirror of sip number two a little bit of heat remaining in my mouth long finish for a 116 it's got a decent long finish to it Ah, very, very nice. All right, y'all. So this is the Old Elk. It's a Captain Cork pick. This is the weeded barrel proof single barrel. Obviously, your mileage is going to vary whenever you do a single barrel. But if you can get the Old Elk as a, as a barrel pick, for me, on the smash pass or bar, this is a smash all day long. Glad I have this on my bar. This is a very nice um, example of a weeded bourbon that doesn't taste completely smooth and syrupy and, and boring, um, but has got a lot of flavor to it, a lot of diversity. Finish is still going, long finish. For 116 proof, it drinks more like a 120 to a 125. Not super hot though, just has a long lingering finish. Really, really love it. Old Elk. Barrel pick, this is the weeded. What's not to love about that? I'm Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor, coming at you from Barcelos and Bourbon on this Whiskey Wednesday. Until next time, cheers.